13 year old Swedish boy presents to your clinic complaining of increased forgetfulness. So the clue once again over here is a 13 year old. Increased forgetfulness, sex is not that much important in this case. He has been held back in school several times and has just recently began forgetting common. That is everyday facts. This is the case. On further questioning, he informs you that he has also become more injury prone. This is the important buzzword in this case, more injury prone, sustaining small fractures over the last two years while playing sports. Injury prone is the very important buzzword where he's sustaining small fractures over the last two years while playing sports, which means now the disease is a bit more severe, which means already the patient may be having this disease since long, right? Okay, on physical examination, you find moderate hepatosplenomegaly. And neurologic examination shows defects in his lateral gaze tracking. Defects in his lateral gaze tracking. And these findings led you to suspect that he may suffer from an autosomal recessive disorder that is associated with a lysosomal enzyme deficiency. This is the case. And extra three points are for your clues to identify what exactly it is. By this, the case is over. Now, extra points if you see, given the patient's history, you believe that the definitive diagnosis will require bone marrow biopsy which demonstrates a characteristic wrinkled tissue paper appearance and lipid ladder macrophages in the bone marrow. So it is a gauchers. It has like various types, but remember that the gaucher disease type 1, which is more common out of all the type 1, type 2, as well as type 3, and most compatible with life, type 1, which is the most common and most compatible with life. So it is an autosomal recessive disorder that results from a deficiency of the enzyme acid beta glucosidase. The name of the enzyme is acid beta glucosidase. Some authors also say that this enzyme name is beta glucocerebrosidase. Beta glucocerebrosidase. And what is the function of this enzyme? It is responsible for the cleavage of the glucosyl ceramide into ceramide, which means it removes the glucose moiety from the ceramide to form the ceramide during glycosphingolipid catabolism. So the name itself says that it is glucosidase, which means it removes the glucosyl moiety from the glucosyl ceramide to form ceramide in the glycosphingolipid metabolism. And when this enzyme is deficient, the glycosyl ceramide, or we can say the glucosyl ceramide, this glucosyl ceramide is also called as glucocerebroside, accumulates in the brain because we are calling it as a cerebroside. The most common location is the brain compared to that of the other organ. That's the reason complaining of increased forgetfulness is seen accumulation in the brain that is glucosyl ceramide which is also called as glucocerebroside and other organs which are commonly involved after the brain are liver spleen and bone marrow causes damage to these organs liver spleen and bone marrow so in the bone marrow specifically there will be an infiltration of the gaucher cells these gaucher cells are nothing but called as a lipid ladder macrophages, which causes accumulation of these gaucher cells, which are lipid ladder macrophages, leads to infection, necrosis, and cortical bone destruction. These are the three things. Because of the infiltration of the gaucher cells, which are nothing but called as a lipid ladder macrophages, which leads to infection, necrosis, and cortical bone destruction. This is what is the pathophysiology. 
and what are the clinical manifestations now before discussing the clinical manifestations first we should know that the gaucher disease is of three types type 1 type 2 as well as type 3 and uh, remember that hepatosplenomegaly as well as cns manifestations are typically seen in all the three types all the three types and involvement of the viscera is more commonly seen in type 1 so type 1 is called as adult form so this is the 13 year old boy so it is not an adult form type 1 is the adult form and presence in early adulthood early adulthood they may give they give the age of 22 year old then i will agree that it is the type 1 because even the symptoms are not matching with the type 1 because the predominant symptoms what we can see in the type 1 gaucher's disease is the seizures and uh, aseptic necrosis with fractures of the femoral head especially aseptic necrosis myoclonic seizures these two you have to underline for type 1 type 1 is the adult form present in early adulthood where there will be a rapidly progressive myoclonic seizures along with the aseptic necrosis with the fractures of the femoral head and type 2 is called as the infantile form so this infantile form presents with slowly progressive cns involvement and mental retardation so it is not our case slowly progressive cns involvement and mental retardation so ours is not the type 1 nor the type 2 so our case is the type 3 which is the juvenile form juvenile form because the juvenile form presents with presents mainly in adolescents with dementia dementia so in this case dementia is the most important characteristic feature of type 3 slowly progressive cns manifestation that is cns involvement is the marker for the type 2 seizures and aseptic necrosis typically of the fractures of the femoral head is more commonly for the type 1 which is adult form but overall gaucher's disease type 1 is more common and most compatible with life got it yeah now let us talk about the lab findings there will be a mild anemia because of the involvement of the bone marrow as well as thrombocytopenia bone marrow biopsy reveals gaucher cells so these gaucher cells are a characteristic wrinkle tissue paper appearance appearing macrophages now what is the treatment because of the enzyme which is deficient in this case is the acid beta glucosidase or it is also called as beta glucocerebrosidase so the enzyme for the treatment an enzyme which is present is called as a serizyme it is a form of an enzyme serizyme the serizyme a recombinantly produced acid beta glucosidase recombinantly produced acid beta glucosidase serizyme and it is the treatment of choice it is the treatment of choice and other than this there is a symptomatic management of blood cytopenias and joint replacement surgeries but mainly for the treatment of gouches means serizyme which is a recombinantly produced acid beta glucosidase so this is what is about gouches disease